Hey guys, what's up? Twitch here from Creep Designs, bringing you another challenge. And this one is also going to be like a thank you to my husband and sorry for scaring him. I will explain at some point through the video. Before we get too carried away, this challenge is the Garage Band Challenge and it is hosted by Margie from Asking Spot. I'll put a link to her channel in the description as well as a link to the full playlist. In case you haven't guessed it, the aim of the game is to do something music themed or take something musical like an old radio or something like that and flip it. So I'm taking this set of drawers and flipping it with a musical flair for my husband. I'm crunched for time on this one as usual, but my husband and I are so deeply embedded in music that I just had to do it. I couldn't not do it. And no, I am not wearing my work boots. I don't know if you noticed it, but I got a new tattoo again and my work boots and all my other shoes come up and touch the tattoo too much. So this is what I'm wearing and I will show it after. All right, I know I just took all of these drawers out, but I've put them back in again um, because for what I'm doing, I want the drawers to be flush. So I want the front of the drawers to be as flat as possible. A couple of the drawers do sit flush, um, but I'm going to have to sort the rest out. And before anyone suggests it in the comments, I have to, I have moved the drawers around through all the different spaces and juggled them as much as I can. Um, yeah, so uh, it's yeah, yeah. All right, so basically, what I'm going to do is. They've got these bits on the back um, that are part of the drawer base and I'm just going to sand them down until they fit better or sit flush. So that's the plan. Okay so I'm going to take this opportunity to have a quick chat about the tattoo that I got done. I've decided not to show it here because I don't want to offend anyone with it um, because it probably will offend some people. But I just want to make it clear that I didn't get it intending to offend anyone because I believe, you know, each to their own, everyone do their own thing, yada yada yada. But if you would like to see the tattoo, um, you can see it on my socials and yeah. Time to clean it and you know the drill. Now that it's all clean, I give it a scuff sand all over. You want to make sure you're scuff sanding so that you're giving your surface some tooth for the paint to hold onto. You don't have to do this, you could use an adhesive primer or something like that. Um, but I'm scuff sanding for this one because I won't be using a primer. Um, also, I didn't clean the inside of this piece because my husband's not a paying customer and I'm his partner, not his housewife. So if he has a problem with it, he can clean it himself. Yeah. All right, now that I've scuff sanded the whole thing, I was planning on originally painting over the handles, but I've scuffed the handles up as well, as you can see. And I kind of really dig in that whole scratchy, exposed metal look. And now I've got a new plan. So, yeah, that's how these things go usually, right? So scrap the old plan that you had no idea about and new plan. Okay, so my original plan um, was to paint the entire thing black and go from there. But I didn't think to check to see how much black I've actually got and I really don't have that much. So change of plans again. Um, so I'm gonna be using Unique Options Australian Mineral Paint in the color slate um, so that's a like a dark gray so I'm gonna use that first and then I'm going to use um, their same paint in the color black stump I think I've called it slump before uh, black stump uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna do the slate first and then I'm gonna do a black wash over the top of it and kind of grunge it up a bit and see how I go. 
So the lovely Jennifer from Unique Options sent me a whole bunch of their products for me to try. I have used one of their mineral paints very briefly for a small amount on a piece. So I haven't really been able to test it properly. So this was my chance to really, you know, have a good go at it. So far, I'm happy with it. The consistency is really good. There's no strong smells or anything and all of their products are toxic free. Non toxic free? Non toxic. Their mineral paint went on absolutely brilliantly. It was really easy to apply. There was no drag. There was no stickiness like you get with some mineral paints. As you can see, the coverage doesn't look that great here, but it could just be this color in particular. As you know, some colors don't have the best coverage. Um, but I do also do my coats super thin, as you know, um, because one thing I can't stand is paint just being dumped on there in thick layers. So I do my coats really thin. Okay, so back to the tattoo debacle. Um, I sat for several hours getting the tattoo done and it was brilliant, had a great time, had lots of laughs, really good day. Um, when the tattoo was finished, my husband and son came to pick me up at about six o'clock that night and I had sugar crashed, my own fault, completely my own fault and I had two seizures in the tattoo shop. It was embarrassing and scary and then when my husband got me home I had a third seizure at the bottom of the stairs when he was trying to take me inside. Um, scared the absolute bejesus out of him and my son and so that is why I'm doing this piece for him. He has not made me feel like I need to apologize at all or done anything. He's just been super worried about me and has been an absolutely perfect husband. Um, but this is my way of trying to make up for the fright. I'm blowing the second coat now and as you can see that coverage is a non-issue now. I didn't even apply a third coat of this. Um, two coats was absolutely enough. My brush was dragging a little bit because it was starting to warm up. So I got a spray bottle and just misted the surface a little bit just to help the paint glide on a little easier. Okay, well, that turned out kind of blue, like a blue-grey. Oh. I'll trust the process and we'll see how this goes. So now I'm making my black wash using Unique Options Black Stump. I'm going to make this quite dark because I really do want this to be a dark and moody piece for the theme I'm going for. If you haven't done a wash like this before and you're hesitant but you want to give it a try, just do it really light. So just take your water and add just a small amount of your colour to it and just build the layers up. That's the beautiful thing about doing a paint wash like this is you can just build it up until you're happy with the outcome. I made an absolute mess doing this part, um, but that's part of the fun, right? 
Uh, on the front of it, as you can see, I'm going side to side. I really should have been going top to bottom as I do in other parts of it. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the front of it's not turning out quite so well here, but it will get better and I'll fix it. So as you can see here, the layers are starting to build up and make more sense now. I think this is my third layer. I'm going heavier around the trim around the top and bottom than I am anywhere else. And as I'm going down now, it's looking a lot better and it's kind of giving it a bit of a denim look, which I actually ended up really liking. Yes, that is my laptop flipped over on its back and I am tracing onto baking paper using my laptop. Judge me all you want, it works. I've done it so many times for so many years and if it works, it's not stupid. Um, so I'm going to do some fancy lettering and I'm using welder's chalk on the back of the baking paper or the greaseproof paper, whatever you guys call it. Um, I'm using welder's chalk or you could just use normal chalk or like one of those white charcoal pencils or something like that. Um, the reason I'm using white instead of a normal lead pencil is because I'm transferring it onto a dark surface. If I was transferring it onto something white or a light colour, I'd use lead pencil. Usually when I'm doing things like this, I use the same pencil that I traced it with to go over the lettering or the design again to transfer it onto the piece. Uh, but the pencil tends to eventually tear up the paper and kind of messes up the lettering or the stencil so I'm using a pen instead it glides across the paper a lot easier and it doesn't mark the greaseproof paper because the, the pen doesn't work on it so you're not messing up the design and making it harder to read so these are lyrics obviously they are lyrics for a song by Type O Negative called Red Water Christmas Morning. I would love to be able to put the song in this video, but unfortunately because of copyright I can't. So I will put the link for the music video in the description. Please go and check it out. It is an absolutely amazing song by an absolutely amazing band. Some of you will be aware I do listen to a lot of death metal and some pretty heavy stuff, but this is not that at all and it is quite beautiful and it is a very important song to myself and my husband. I'm not going to go into great detail because it's quite sappy but it is a very important song for us and yeah that's why I'm using this song in particular for this piece for him. I should probably also mention the paint that I'm using is Posh Chalk Pigments it is a gold. I am not sure what gold it is. It is down at the shed and I am at home. So uh, yeah, I've used it before. I've said that I wouldn't use it again because I wasn't a big fan of it, but that was on a large flat surface that didn't go on quite so well. But for this, things like this, it's working perfectly and was really good. A 
really want to add some more details to the sides so that it's not just the lyrics. So I'm going to be using some thorns. This is the album cover for October Rust, which this song was on. And so I'm going to be using the thorns from this for the details. Just so you guys know, this piece has already come home and I've given it to him and he absolutely loves it. He had to help me get it out of the back of the car and bring it inside and he noticed the thorns before he noticed the lyrics and knew exactly what it was. Once I was done hand painting all of that on there, I went over it with a damp cloth and cleaned off all of the chalk. Here we have a quick reminder of what it looked like before. And here it is now completely refinished with love for my husband. It wasn't exactly what I originally had planned for this piece, but if anything, I think it turned out better than what it probably would have. What I originally planned was going to be probably way over the top because that's what I do. Um, but he is absolutely over the moon with it and loves it. I want to say a huge thank you to Margie from Asking Spot for hosting this challenge. I can definitely see more music themed pieces in my future. And if you're not already on the challenge playlist, you can find the link for it in the description of this video. You will also find a list of affiliate links for all products used in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your continued support. I really do appreciate it and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.